The NBA, a showcase for the world's finest athletes. A forum where every move, every step is choreographed to precision. Well, most of the time. <laughs> NBA Entertainment presents the all-new Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers. Okay, let's rehearse this thing. Walter Gallus, shop, please. Thank you. Marv, is your throat all right out there? Yeah, I'm, all, I'm okay, though. I'll... I'll pace myself and play it slowly. Okay, okay, we got some time here. We got, we're, not, we're not in any rush, we're not in any okay. rush. Okay, so we're gonna tape and we'll do the opening and the rest of the way we discuss. That's it, that's right, exactly. Let's do this thing. Standing by out there, let's stop the hammering. In three, two, standing by, in one, open them and cue them. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marv Albert, and welcome to what has to be considered the biggest game of the season. Both teams come in with identity. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Oh, no. Hey, Marv. Great to see you. How you been? Frank Layden. Real good to see you. Boy, we haven't gotten together since we did the uh, Dazzling Dunks and Bloopers video about, what, a year ago? Just about a year ago. And you know, that's why I'm back here again. We got to go over it again. You know, Frank, my throat has been bothering me. I've been having some problems here and doing the broadcast. Would you be able to uh, join us for some color commentating? Hey, Marv, I'd love to. In fact, it would give me an opportunity to maybe uh, get back into it again, start talking about the dunks and the bloopers. Oh, wait, wait, time out, time out. No, we're talking, I appreciate any help you can give, but strictly basketball commentary, not, none of that other stuff. No. Hey, Marv, I'll tell you what, you should see what the players think about it. Watch this. All right, come on, let's go, hurry up, come on. Dunks on one side, bloopers on the other. There you go there, line up here. Come on, let's get it lined up. Come on, move it, move it, move it. Dunks, it's got to be dunks. <laughs> oh, please, let it be bloopers. You want it dunks, dunks, dunks. It's gotta be bloopers in that lineup over there. I'm telling you, it's dunks. Bloopers. Dunks, dunks. Bloopers. Bloopers, dunks, bloopers, dunks. Dunks, bloopers, dunks, bloopers. Well, I don't know. Bloopers or dunks. I can't believe it's not gonna be bloopers. I want bloopers. Well, I don't care. I don't wanna play anyway. What? It's not gonna be dunks? Oh! All right, Frank, that was a nice piece, real nice. But we're concentrating on the game. Enough of dunks and bloopers. Let's talk about what we're going to chat about right at the start. What do you what do you have in mind? Well, I think I'll uh, talk about the coaching staffs. Uh, okay, they, so we'll talk about the coaches. Two and three, give me a shot of both coaches, please. We'll get split screen there. 15 seconds there. OK, we're coming up to air time. Let's stand by. Let's have a good one, guys. OK, so we'll get shots of the coaches. And I'll leave Frank into that. How, how far away are we? Uh, we'll come up about. We're getting close. OK, let's stand by out there. Okay, here we go. We're going live, fellas. Here we go. In five, four, three, two. Standing by. One. And open the mics and cue them. 
Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Albert. I'm joined by Frank Layden of the Utah Jazz. And tonight, it is the game of the season, a matchup of two of the best teams in the NBA. Frank, how do you break it down? Well, I think it's between dunks and bloopers. Now, I know you're a dunk man, but I'm a blooper guy all the way, Marv. Good evening, Good evening ladies, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen. Whether, Whether you're a bloopers, bloopers fan or a dunk, dunk fan, fan. You're, you're sure, sure to, to enjoy, enjoy the 1990, 1990 Gatorade, Gatorade Slam Dunk, dunk contest. contest. Let, Let the, the action, action begin. begin. for his third dunk, a lob again. Dominique needs a 47-6 to win. Oh, that's got to get it. Quiet on the set, take one. Goodyear proudly supports the Clippers and vice versa. 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 <laughs> versa. <laughs> Corvettes, Maseratis, Porsches, and Zs fly with high performance GTs. Ah, let's start up. Fly with high performance. I can't get that out. Lincoln Rolls, Chrysler's Cat. Wow, I don't know. Wait, okay, hold on. <laughs> San Pedro, San Fernando, and San Bredou. There's a Southern California good good year right near you. I can't stay that out. Close. You were damn close that time. Try I get, get stuck. <laughs> the wind and the sleet and the snow and the rain. Good to decide she's going to be driving down the lane. Uh, we got to start that We got it. We got it. We got it. Now it's time to search for the legends, the pioneers, the real story behind the unofficial history of the NBA. Even before there was man, there was basketball. <laughs> This prehistoric footage puts a damper on any theory that hoop started in Springfield. Official history will continue. Hello? Hello, Marv! Frank, I thought by now you'd be on your trip to Judge Dunks and Bloopers. Hey, I'm set to take off! Well, I'd wish you luck, but that would be an understatement. Well, <laughs> we'll see about that. Thanks, anyway, for the other night. I really enjoyed doing that game. Me too. After the rocky start, I, I think we really worked well together. 
Yeah, what the heck. Maybe we can use some of that stuff in bloopers 17. You don't quit, do you? No, and obviously, neither have these guys. It's crunch time, and you know, you really feel that. I mean, it's a lot of things that... See those hands? Yeah, hey, chick, that's good. I told you you should be out there. Are you keeping it? I'd lost the farm and all the dogs and cats on this one. Well, not the dogs. A visit with Jeff Malone, who's had himself quite a week. He's in the starting lineup right now at his biggest game ever in the pros last Saturday. Phil will chat with him. Won't you? I am alive, awake, and alert. What do we do now? They did against Indiana. And that takes time to have that confidence. <laughs> Dick Pavetta just stepping in and taking over the game early. Looking for some early exposure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of this. Give me some action. Dunks and Basketball Bloopers presents the NBA's Not-So-Great Hands Award. There are great hands and not-so-great hands. And in an effort to select a winner, we searched through every game and examined every play. But instead, we went right to the top and give our award to the commissioner for the day he handed out the MVP award. Let's see that again. We salute you, Mr. Commissioner, as our latest winner of the NBA's Not-So-Great Hands Award. Good morning, sir. Hey, my man, how's it going? Good. Anything I can do for you? Yeah, how about grabbing the bags in the back? That's Michael Thompson of the Lakers. I know who it is. And while we're at it, what do you think between dazzling dunks and basketball bloopers? Sorry, uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean. What, do you live on the moon or something? Huh? What are you, a baseball fan? Yeah, Dodgers. Oh, that Lasorda. He's got them all brainwashed. Knock, knock. Come on in. Wow, that's weird. I had a funny feeling somebody was out there. But now that I think about it, I've had a strange feeling that someone's been watching me all day. Really? Maybe you better have that checked out. Maybe I should, but uh, check this out. I've got to be downtown in 15 minutes. Got to go pick up my wife and son. So whatever you have to say, whatever's on your mind, say it fast. Let me get right at it. I'm checking out basketball aficionados like yourself to find out whether they like dazzling dunks or basketball bloopers better. That's it? It's that simple. Well, actually, Coach, it's not that simple, because with dunks, you have power. 
drama, and force. And with uh, bloopers, you have characters, style, humor, and a plot. Sort of like in the movies. You know what I mean, Coach? I know what you mean, but I wish you'd say it again. I'm not so sure Marv knows what you're talking about. Well, here in Hollywood, they use character and style in their movies. So you gotta have style, Coach. In other words, you're saying it's the basketball bloopers. No, I'm saying bye. What does TV and movies have to do with dazzling dunks and basketball bloopers? Well, Frank, we tip it off on Friday nights with Miami's Rice. Glenn Rice leads his comrades into war with the rest of the NBA, and the results won't always be pretty. Then on Sunday, join us for the NBA's version of Dynasty. A year ago, we said goodbye to the captain, and now a new cast looks to continue the life of riches in the NBA. Dynasty. Will the tradition continue? But when Saturday morning rolls around, it'll be time to menace around with Dennis as that pesty piston and all his pals turn the NBA topsy-turvy with laughs and excitement. But before you touch the dial, remember, every weekday morning, we get started in our Mr. Rogers neighborhood. So don't be shy. Join in all the fun. Television neighbor. <laughs> then midweek, adventure comes your way with the exciting action of the Blue Hornet. Wrap it up on Thursdays. In June of 1988, Manute Bold was scheduled to leave the Washington Bullets. That request came from the Golden State Warriors. A few years earlier, Chris Mullen was asked to join that same Warrior team. Can these two newly found friends lead their team to an NBA title? That's our new lineup right here on Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers. Quiet on the set once again. Hey, I'm John Spider Sally, the Detroit Pistons. Did you know that? Hi, I'm Xavier McDaniel, the Seattle Supersonics. When we come to play the Charlotte Hornets, what's the name of the building? Hi, I'm Chuck Person. The NBA is your ticket to action. <laughs> is that right? Hey, I'm John Sally, Detroit Pistons. Okay, hi, I'm Xavier McDaniel, the Seattle Supersonics. Uh, when we come play the Charlotte Hornets, that place better be full. Hi, I'm Chuck Person. I want to see you when I come to Charlotte. Hi, I'm Wayman, and, and this is my man. Y'all keep y'all hands <laughs> off of him. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he's mine. <laughs> Here's a personality from the NBA. When the call went out for Daryl Dawkins, the results were inevitable. Jumping to the NBA out of high school, Dawkins made a name for himself as Mr. Dunk, and he creatively returned the favor by issuing a nickname for each of his slams. I had a turbo saxophonic delight dunk where I went up and swiveled the hips a little bit and kind of brought it across. Larry Brown, watch out! I had to dunk call your mama. And that was for anybody who jumped in front of me while I was trying to dunk it. It's just nine to three. Oh, what a muscle. So I get up one night and I dunk a good one. The backboard's still shaking. I'm like halfway back down the floor. And I look back down and still swinging. So I said, what was that? I said, get out of the way and backboard swing, game delay. And if you ain't grooving, you best get moving. And everybody was like, the guy's got imagination. Former 76er coach Billy Cunningham remembers that unique imagination. He had a name every other week for a dunk. Um, I can remember him shattering the backboard in Kansas City. 
shattering the backboard in Philadelphia. Collins to Darrell Dawkins. Oh, hey, he did it again. He broke it again. We lost those, both of those games, by the way, every time we shattered the backboard. Back, slam down, and there you see it shattered. Well, that's why we have the breakaway rims now, because of Darrell Dawkins. Because they can still be broken. The rim only gives from the front. The rim only leans down in the front when you hit it. If you hit it from the side, it's going to break. I know. I've tried these things. And who could ever doubt Daryl Dawkins, certainly one of the great characters of the game. But Carl, can I ask you a question? I mean, is he the character that they always talk about? You know, without a doubt. Uh, I've seen him a couple of times. He's the biggest character of the game by far. Well, we have been discussing it before you got here. We want to ask you kind of a personal but a professional question. Um, have you ever... Uh, Broken any of the bag bullets? Well, you know, I, I've broken my shiver. I never like to talk about it, you know. It's, I'm sure. Really, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I like to talk Carl, about there it. Carl, there is the weirdest character over your sh other way. Other way? Do you hey, see Carl. this guy? Hey, Carl. Cool. I've been looking all over How are you doing, here. man? Having a team meeting, huh? Oh, yeah, a team meeting. Looks like the team's in pretty good shape this oh, year. Oh, really good shape. Uh -huh. Oh, can I join you? Would you please? Yes, please, Coach. Okay. Have a seat. Thanks, Carl. Gosh, I've been looking all over for you, Carl, and i got to get your professional opinion. Now, I know you've always been a dunk man. Carl, um, I, I got to go. Ooh, there goes another one. <laughs> hey, Carl, listen to okay, me. Come here, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Come here. Come here, Coach. You know, I always took your advice. I always took your advice. Oh, Carl, it's starting to drop like flies. Yeah, get right to the point, please. <laughs> well, what I'm here to ask you is, what is it? Dazzling dunks or basketball bloopers? What's the most important thing? Because it's got to be the characters of the game. Without a doubt, it's the Five characters miles. of the game. Bye. <laughs> there they go. Coach, get right to the point, OK? What is it? Dunks or bloopers? What's more important? Coach, only thing I can say right now. You're not okay? getting mad, are you? No, no, I'm not getting mad. The only thing I can say is it's the characters of the game, OK? Character? They're all characters, all these dunk guys. In its early days, the dunk was not about style. High percentage in nature, it was basketball's most straightforward shot. In the 70s, however, a growing legion of high flyers helped it shed its blue collar image and brought dazzling dunks into vogue. But it would be in the prodigious hands of Julius the Dr. Irving that the dunk would reach its present state. Combining explosive power with effortless grace, Dr. J would transform it into an art form. Setting the stage for a wildly varied cast of present day performers. I resorted to finger rolls and petty dunks. However, I do unleash a monster dunk once in a while. You know, guys hanging all over your arm, beating you to death. You say, uh. For some, it is about force, subduing opponents with unbridled strength. I try to uh, dunk it as hard as possible, so um, the next time I go to dunk it, uh, the, the, the person who's checking me or anybody else, they'll think first before they'll try to block it. Larry cracks the rebound and you it. It's, it's exciting because when you go into the hoop, you just got that one thing. You just want to attack it, you know, like your worst enemy. Corner of the Warriors down nine. And Malone oh, makes sure that one is not blocked. The steal by Barkley. Look out. Up court, McDaniel. Quick drive, baseline, right to the dunk. Power Xavier McDaniel on reverse. Next, Jackson fires Wilkins. Walker. A lot of guys like to run and jump off one leg and do a whole lot of gliding. I can do that, but my specialty is jumping vertical, planting both feet and jumping and dunking with a whole lot of authority. Oh For another group of high wire acts, their trade is finesse, practicing the fine art of aerial improvisation. The thing here is just... Stay spontaneous in everything that happened for you. Wexler is deep. Dickler. It's a three on three. Alley you Hello, everybody. 
that's one of the greatest feelings you can have because you're in a you're in a zone seem like by yourself when you're, you're that hot and the fans start to get into it after that, and then they want to see you with the ball in your hand but when it comes to airborne acrobatics no one does it quite like michael jordan people ask me you really think you can fly i said yeah for a little while it may be a split second but it's flying It's time once again to go back in time and relive the memories that make up the unofficial history of the NBA. When man arrived on the scene, he wanted a way to get closer to the standard 10-foot hoop, and the game took on some very heavy traveling. Unofficial history will continue. Dazzling Dunks and Basketball Bloopers presents You Fake the Call. After missing the first of two foul shots, Jay Humphreys takes matters into his own hands. Should the referee, A, disqualify his shot, B, award him another, C, brutally reject his next attempt, you fake the call. The correct answer is, of course, C. If you said, take matters into your own hands and brutally reject his next shot, you faked the call. It's a personality from the NBA. The imposing figure of Bill Walton conjures many images. And when one looks back on his career, there are memories of a tenacious player who led Portland to its only championship. But there is also the recall of his free-spirited demeanor. When Walton concluded his career in Boston, his zealous effort had captured another title for the Celtics and himself. And although he is probably best remembered as a champion, an understanding of the man cannot be accomplished without recognizing his flair for the unusual. One story serves as an icon for his free-spirited character. We were playing the Lakers, and in the course of playing, someone had given me a flat. My shoe came off, and uh, they immediately picked up on the fact that I didn't have a shoe on, so they were just going to give it to my man and let him go and score. Well, I was sort of standing there with my shoe in my hand. I couldn't jump because I, you know, I didn't have a shoe on. So I just took the shoe and tossed it up at the ball, trying to hit the ball on the way to the basket. and. Uh, Earl Strom, the great referee, he, uh, he didn't think that was too good of an idea, so he, he whistled me for a technical foul for uh, violating the spirit and the rules of the game. Ah, I wonder where he is. Usually can count on him. Couple of more minutes, that's it. I'm out of here. Hey, where's Frank? God, I can't wait forever. Thanks, Tom. Do we belong, Mr. Walton? I don't know. Frank called me. He's all upset. He's confused. I don't think he knows what he's doing, but he called hey, me. There he I is. think I see him down there. I'm going to go down there and check hey, him Bill. out, see what he wants. I'll Bill. be back in a bit, though. All right, sir. Bill. Don't keep the car running, though. Bill, over here. Yeah, that's definitely Frank. Hey! Hey! Frank, are you all right? Hey, Bill, thanks for coming. You're a real pal. I got your message. You sound desperate. You sound terrible. Well, come What's on. Wrong? Walk down the beach with me, all right? I want to. can't talk here? No, we can't. I got to keep it undercover. What I'm calling you about, I've been traveling all the way across the country, seeing every basketball expert I can possibly get to. And what I want to find out, what's more important, dazzling dunks or basketball bloopers? Dunks or bloopers? Yeah. Give me a break, Frank. You brought me all the way from San Diego for dunks and bloopers? I'm a busy guy. Anyway, it's not dunks or bloopers. It's people. It's their character and their style. It's what they bring to the game. Now, gosh darn it, 
The next time you call me, you make sure it's something important. All right, Bill. How about dinner? <laughs> dinner? You haven't missed many of those lately. Now, let's go. Character. Style. Dunks or bloopers? What is it? 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 Now it's time to play. What is it? Choose one of your favorite NBA players and guess is it a dunk or is it a blooper? No way! All right, let's get started. Here comes the mailman. Will he deliver? Lick the stamp. Yep, and the next zip code, no, maybe. Yeah. Let's give it another try. Is it a dunk, or is it a blooper? Oh. Yes, yes, you called it. Now let's make it a little more difficult. Here comes Michael Jordan. Could this possibly be a blooper? It appears yeah. that way, but it's the same play, and, well, here comes Dominique on the other end. What is it? Sweet! Yeah. All right, this game is tougher than you thought. Is it a dunk, a blooper going down the other end of the dunk? Here comes again. Well, what, what is it? Well, is it a blooper? Now you look thoroughly confused. Now we get tricky, real tricky. Is it a dunk? Ooh, a tough one. This should be easy. This has to be a blooper. Right? No, it's the end. But don't go away. We have lots more to cover. That was a clever one. <laughs> Here's a personality from the NBA. The Ralph, man. You want to roll on the cameraman or what? <laughs> Any cameraman would have a difficult time keeping up with the web-like antics of Detroit's irrepressible John Spider Salad. Why are you following me? Get away from me. All right, Vinny, Vinny, it's Brooklyn time, Brooklyn time. Uh-oh, it's who time? Ice cream. That's Joe Dumas. He doesn't say much. Oh, Sam, you got to come up with a new routine this year. Last year's routine was last year. Oh, yeah. Michael Thompson's job is to make me look good, then. He's <laughs> getting paid so much money <laughs> just for letting me block a shot. I mean, after two years, don't you realize? Don't just lay the ball up easily on it. My name is Joe. I don't say much. Once again, this is uh, the John Silly Sally Show, and uh, <laughs> we're interviewing Ron Harper from the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm, I'm interviewing Clyde Drexler and, and Dominique Wilkins. What do you think about your chance in dunk contest? Are you going to go up and do like you did when you was a rookie and just get, you know, shell shock and, and scared? <laughs> you know, Ron went to that funny school, Miami, Ohio. They didn't know where Miami was, so they just told him it was warm there, too. You a heck of an interviewer, and I think that you should leave basketball and take over the Ophir Riffy show. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. John Sally followed his locker room cohorts onto the Houston Summit floor to witness the 1989 Gatorade Slam Dunk Contest. And the results were nothing short of breathtaking. As the NBA's prime time slammers fused raw power and regal grace to electrify the arena. Watch the 360, 360, what? Hey, watch this.
although each performer had captivated the crowd with a dazzling array of slams, there was only room for two. A long-awaited finals. Clyde the Glide Drexler. The hometown favorite. Would look to put the pressure on early. But his rescue would open the door to another eager aerial voyager by the name of Kenny Skywalker. His responses were emphatic. And the outcome became clear as Walker's coming out party was in full swing. Dedicating his dunking exhibition to his father, who passed away only days early, the New York Knicks had been on a mission. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Enough reading for the day. Oh, please help me. Oh, way to go, Nuggies. Oh, good defense. That's it. Fall down. That's it. Follow him up. Oh, let him in the paint. Let him get a good shot off. Way to go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Who let this stiff on here? Dunks and bloopers. I got to call this buffoon. I got you. Here, vote for freedom. Lady, you got to be you're, sick of something. Mr. Franks? I like I <laughs> Dunks and bloopers. Excuse me, Frank. Is somebody on the line supposedly is a friend of yours? All right, put him on. Okay, hold on. Another vote for bloopers. Frankly, Dunks and bloopers. Hey, Fat Frank, it's me, Who Doug. 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 Doug Collins? Doug Moe, you stiff. Moe. That's right. Oh, my tailor from Brooklyn? Hey, more like a tent maker for you, hey, Fatso. Hey, don't tell me about how I dress. Yeah, I'll tell you something about the only guy that dressed worse than you was the guy with the fish tie and the sneakers on. I'm going to tell you about Pat Riley and me. We're yeah, alike. You and Pat Riley got yeah? brain lock. That's what you got. Hey, I'll tell you. You can kid about this body. I'll tell you one thing. It's all in where you are. If I took this body to India, people would worship it, all right? Huh? I've got a great body. The only problem You're the worst dresser I've ever seen. Hey, Doug, I don't want to hear that stuff from you, all right? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. You, oh, yo, you think you're a great dresser. You dress like the guy that wears the, the fish tie in there. You stiff. Yeah? From That's flashy it. ties to outrageous outfits, fashion has always been an expression of style. And the sidelines of the NBA are no different. But today's trendsetters fall short of matching their, let us say, imaginative predecessors. for yet another installment of the unofficial history of the NBA. The Ice Age cometh, and man was forced to get off his high horse and weather the elements, as treacherous conditions gave new meaning to the term fast break. Standard call of an NBA coach. Help! Help! Come on, gang! Rebound! Oh, where's the foul? Where's the foul? What are you yelling at our guy 
fight for. Go back out of there. 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 Go Frank Layden and Doug Moe share a relationship that extends beyond basketball, a friendship based on their striking similarity in style. To me, that's colorful. Doug Moe's very colorful. When you mention Frank Layden, it's funny. I mean, the guy's a funny guy. He's one of the funniest guys you could ever want to meet. The things he does on the court are funny. Uh, I mean, I, not only do I have experience with him are funny, people come back and tell me they sit behind the bench. Oh, it was great. Sit behind Frank. We had a good time with him tonight. Did you pay for that seat? No! All right, keep talking then. <laughs> I just don't like to hear from the freebies. I feel that the best thing to do with a fan who's uh, really tough on you is probably to defuse him. I was a rookie. And this guy was behind the bench, giving him a lot of trouble, calling him fat, you know, whatever. And was he hungry? And Frank said, sure, I'm hungry. So the guy said, you want me to get you a hot dog and a Coke? Frank said, yeah. So a few minutes later, he came down with a hot dog and a beer, and I enjoyed it on the bench. I got a little worried about having the beer, you know. I didn't know whether that was against the rules or not. But so, uh, but I had it, and it was fun. He's just one of those guys that makes people laugh, and, uh, you know, you can't beat that. And both of these men have added a special character to the game. And there is certainly nothing wrong with that. But don't tell Frank I said that. Nice try, Frank. It was a good campaign. Thanks a lot. It was a good campaign. It was a lot of fun. I learned something, too. It's not just dunks or bloopers. It's the characters. We've seen some great ones. We've seen them all. Hey, yo, Keith, you know what, man? A lot of people don't realize that the NBA was built not only on the players' abilities, but also on their personalities, the coaches' personalities, and even the referees' personalities. Words said, I know what you mean, man. Like, for instance, how about that funny guy who used to coach Utah? Yeah, I know you talking about uh, Frank Layden. Yeah, he's a funny character, dressed kind of funny there. And then you got... Don Nelson with big ties. Doug Mo with his blazer. Jack Ramsey is bugged up. It dressed even crazier. Pat Riley's fly now. But wait now, oh no. Cause back in the day, he dressed like Sonny Bono. Bono. Yeah, so let's talk about officials. The different types we like, and here's an issue. Mindy Rudolph was animated, make calls in motion. Earl Strong's in the backcourt, shout and bingo. I got the foul, yo, wait now, bingo. bingo. Daryl Garrison, saying hold it right there. The announcers. TV to PA. Dave Zinkoff was famous. Made Doc Dunk all day. Johnny Moe. Another Celtic at heart. Chick Hearn. The Lakers counterpart. Then you got players, big and small. With the still score 100 points real strong. With a finger roll, like the great Bill Walton. A hippie who played great, scored and made great. Plays like a one man show, now let's take John. Sally, for instance. A clown in the woody one who plays didn't he have his fun? Like gonna will be free. He's only just begun. Pistol. Pete was in there. Another gunner who shot the ball from anywhere. Daryl Dawkins broke backboards. Dunking like a monster. I'm alone is the cool man. The mailman sponsor. Spud Webb is the little man with leaping ability. Dennis Robin and Danny Ainge has intensity. On the court. And that's just one of the ways we appreciate the personalities and the humor of the N-B-A. Word. Yeah. Word up. All right, yeah. Ultra magnetic MC is in full effect. Believe that. Keep your big San Diego clip ahead. Promotional consideration has been provided by American Airlines, the official airlines of the NBA, and by ITT Sheraton, the official hotel of the NBA. Yes, this is Marv Albert. No, I'm not home, but please leave a message. Marv, old buddy, sorry it took so long for me to get back to you, but I wasn't able to prove in the end that bloopers were more important than dunks. What's really important, though, are the characters of the game, and that's why I'm calling. There's a lot of great guys involved in basketball these days. I was thinking we could all get together and maybe make our own tape. You know, it could be a musical. I can see us now on Broadway.